Hi guys and welcome back to our FIFA 20 Sunderland Road to Glory career mode. So in the last episode we started off really really well with a 3-1 win in the Community Shield over Manchester United but then we did go into the Premier League season, the first game of the season where we drew 2 all with Brighton which really was a disappointing result and performance to be fair because I think in all Brighton were probably the better side. So I did mention in the last episode that I was planning on tinkering with the system which could put a few players in jeopardy in terms of places and stuff like that but we do have decent uh, strength and depth in terms of what we can do with our system so I have changed the system and today we are going to be playing West Ham, Stoke and Aston Villa and I will also simulate the Carabao Cup game against West Brom and I will quickly show you the system now. So the system I am going to be using is the wing back system as I did briefly mention. We have Rosengold, Kira, Diop, Twanzaby, we have Valerie who will be starting because he is a regular wing back. We have Vagdemont on the left hand side, we have Maya and Douglas Louise in the middle and then we have almost a flat three up top. I've really tucked him Weyer and Paulinho on the right and left respectively and of course Troy, Troy Parrott sorry, up top so I'm hoping that this gives us a really good attacking outlet because I've set Vagman and Valerie to constantly get forward basically which could leave us a little bit um, a, a little bit vulnerable at the back but I just think it gives us so much more options and more variety when it comes to getting forward so I'm hoping that does prove to be the case. So let's go into this game against West Ham and like I said that is the team you don't need to go through it again it looks solid. Hopefully the system comes off. Let's get into it. And here we are. It is our first home game of the season. It's pouring it down at the stage of the as we do welcome West Ham United. Can we get our first win of the season? I'm hoping so. I'm hoping the system proves to be a good decision as well. I'm hoping I haven't just shot myself in the foot here. It feels and looks as though it should be very attacking. So I'm hoping that's the case and we can just absolutely run right here at the stage of my life. And away we go. Come on, lads. Oh, it's a good chance for them now. West Ham, they've caught us open. That's it. And it's a good save by Rose. We're split open there. As soon as one of the left or right centre-backs get taken on, we are so, so vulnerable. I need to be careful of that. I kept rushing out the likes of Twansby and Kira and leaving Giop really, uh, really unprotected. Here is Vagnerman. It's all Vagnerman and Valerie at the minute. He does cut it back in towards Way though. He does strike it. It's been blocked and they're going to get it away. Come on. Oh, the cutting is open here now. It is four nails on this left-hand side, and it's a save at the near post by Rose. Still need to just get used to this three at the back and learn when to move forward, when to commit. And it's a good chance. It's a good header, and luckily it's gone over. But it is another corner. Four nails to take it. He whips it in towards the near post. Get it away. It has been headed, and it's gone into the side netting. Caramo coming down this right side. It's a good inception there, though, by Maya tracking back. Now, Vagman on the counter. Come and help him out. Make you move, way, Make you move. There we go. Chase it. You're faster than him. You're way faster than him. Cut inside if you can. He has done. It is Weyer. Help him out. Pull it back. Help him. Oh, that's a terrible pass. I put so much power in it as well and he just tapped it to the first man. Best chance of the game for us so far. And what a waste that is from Weyer, the new man. And there goes half time whistle. Really frustrating. Although West Ham have made chances of their own. I think in the final third we've looked so much better than the previous game. And we really should have made... Better of that chance just then with Timothy Way, but it's still nil-nil. Well in Way there with the interception. Get at him now. Help him out. There we are. Douglas Louise. Give it back to Way who does have some space here. It is Way. It's nicely done there by Way. It's still Way. Go on. Get him. Have a shot. Oh, and it's gone just wide. Lovely individual play by Timothy Way. And it's gone just wide. They give him acres of space around the edge of the box, giving plenty of time to. Pull the trigger. Oh, that's good football by West Ham now. Oh, this is too easy for him. There's a man in the middle as well. Get it away. Well played, Jop. Here is Maya now bombing forward. Still going. It's still Maya. Tries to dink it back towards Timothy Wyatt. Good chance now. Gets it across towards Polino with the back post. And it's been headed over the bar. Well in, Douglas Louise. It's a great little interception there. And now it is Luckman. Can he pull it back in? He does. Surely. What a save. There's no way that any keeper in the land is saving that. How has he done that? How have you done it? Lovely play by Luckman. It's a great effort. Oh, the keeper there. Come on. Oh, come on. Just get it away. Good chance for West Ham. And there we go. Oh, my God. We've absolutely dominated them in this second half. And we've gone a goal down. Ball played in. Headed away. It wasn't a good enough header by Captain Swansby. And there you go. They've drilled it in. This is just shocking. Absolutely shocking. Still Luckman. 
Turning, there you go, well played, he does find Douglas Louise now, at the byline, help him out, surely, finish it, we've hit the post, oh, come off it, just come off it, and there goes the full time whistle, the ball just isn't hit in the back of the net, guys, and we have lost our second game of the season, one point from the opening two, this is an absolutely disastrous start. I don't think the tactics themselves were that bad. I do just generally believe that we were unlucky because we absolutely battered him. We've hit the post. We've had great chances. We've made more chances than we did in the previous episode. We just could not put the ball in the back of the net today. But after that defeat against West Ham, we're going to go straight into the next game. We're away from home against Stoke City. I'm going to stay with the same, um, the same system, because I believe that we really were just unlucky in that last game. We made so many chances. In the final third, we looked really dangerous at the back. At times, we looked shaky, but I think that just comes with playing sort of three or five at the back, should I say. So I just think that if our luck turns, we could start smashing teams three, four, five, nearly just wouldn't hit the back of the net. I'm going to go unchanged. Let's get into it. And here we are. We are away from home against Stoke City. It is a wet cold day at Stoke it's always hard to go to a wet and windy day at Stoke but I am confident even though we did lose the last game I'm confident with a little bit of luck I just feel like the FIFA gods were against us in that last game and we could come away with a pretty heavy win I'm not going to jinx myself I'm not going to keep saying that but I really think we deserved a win in the last game will we get one here let's get our first win of the season come on lads Wagner man help him out knock it back in towards where he hooks it across goal can he get there it's been tipped away and they're going to clear it. Come on. Go on, Weyer. That's it. It is Timothy Weyer. Cut inside. Well played. It's still Weyer. Go and get him. Get him. Well played, Weyer. Didn't get across goal if he can get there. And it's been cleared away. Only these forwards. Meyer who volleys it. And it's an absolute rocket. He's caught it wonderfully well. But it's gone over the bar. Oh, it's a good football now by Stoke. Oh, and Kira has been absolutely done over there. And it's a save by Rose. What is going on this season so far? What is going on? And there goes the half-time whistle. And again, we've looked shaky at the back. Yet we look okay going forward. We're just not scoring. I do think I'm just going to change back to our normal system. I think this was a bit of a mess, to be honest with you. I'm going to change back for the second half and go back to the 4-2-3-1. I have gone back to a 4-2-3-1 now. Marin has come on. Twanzaby has come off. So then we go back to a 4 at the back. And Marin will sit in as they can. But we are breaking. Oh, sorry. Stoke are breaking. Right now, it's a good chance for them. Get it away. Well played. Go and get Paulinho on the run. He's got loads of space here. Down this right-hand side. Just keep going, son. Keep cutting inside. You're faster than him. It's still Paulinho. Can he finish off Paulinho? Finally! There we go. And he absolutely buries it into the top left-hand corner. Oh, my God. The relief. The relief. I thought there was some kind of glitch going on where we just couldn't score a goal today. But Paulinho has proved it wrong. He's got acres of space. So much pace as well down that right-hand side. And he's an absolute rocket into that top left-hand corner. Come on. Now here is Douglas Louise from distance. He's going to dig one out as well. And it's, it's a beauty from Douglas Louise. And now finally, everything seems to be falling into the place. What a strike, son. When we bought him, we knew he was capable of long shots. His long shot start is absolutely ridiculous. But that was a beautifully finessed shot right into the top corner, dipping under the bar. What a strike that is, son. The keeper had no chance. Get in. It's 2-0. And it looks like we are going to be getting our first three points of the season. Thank God. We're really starting to press though now, Stoke. Just 10 minutes remain. Get it away, get it away. That's yours. Well, Lane. Stoke really piling on the pressure in the final few moments. They really want at least a consolation, don't they? It is Njai now. Please just keep a clean sheet, lads. Don't let them get the shot off. Don't let them get the shot off. Oh, no, it's a good chance. Get across to him. It's a great block by Maya. What a block that was. And luckily, it just takes the zing out of the shot and finds its way to Rose. Oh, it's a good chance for Stoke. Are they going to get that consolation? Yes, they are. It's 2-1. I think regardless, we just seem shaky at the back, and I don't know why. <laughs> it was decent football, but the way they've just split is open there. It was, I have to say, it is good football, regardless of the defenders we have at the back. That was good football. They did split us open, and it was a really good finish. And it's going to finish 2-1, hopefully. Please just blow the whistle, ref. And there goes a full-time whistle. We finally get three points under our belt after bagging two goals in the second half. We did concede a late consolation, but it wasn't enough for Stoke to get anything from the game. Come on. But now, after that win against Stoke City, we'll be simulating this game in the Carabao Cup, the second round against West Brom. I have used a little bit of a mixed bag of plays, but I'm just hoping that'll just give them a bit of game time. And hopefully, it gets us a result. 
And we win 3 1, and no one gets injured. Thankfully, Mumba, Lopez, and Barco getting amongst the goals. But now we do return to the Premier League in the final game of the episode as we do take on Aston Villa. And this is the side we're going with. We've returned to the 4 2 3 1. We've got Rose in goal, Wagnerman, Jop, Kera, and Hoover across the back. We have Mayer and Douglas Louise in the middle. We have Luckman starting on the right. We have Barco on the left. We have Marin as the camp. And Weyer is going to be starting today because, uh, because Parrot is slightly unfit for this game. So let's get into it. And here we are back at the stage of light, hoping to rectify things. As last time we were here, we did get beat. So can we get back amongst the goals in this one and get back to winning ways? Of course, we did win the previous Premier League game. But if we do want to go for the title of the season, we need to win literally like 99% of our games. And these are the kind of games that would expect us to be winning. Look at Douglas Louise now absolutely bombing down the centre of the pitch. He dinks it back towards Marion on the volley. It's a great block. And he's Barco and it's a save. And they're going to get this one cleared. What a start. What a chance that was. Oh, here is Hoover after a great challenge. That's it. Cut inside. I can see loads of space for Barco on the left-hand side. Is this going to be the counter-attack of dreams? It is Barco. Still Barco. Shimmies it over. Oh, and he's hit the bar. What a chance that was. And they've got it clear. Come on, lads. This is way more like it. This is the Sunderland we know. The counter-attack of dreams in full effect. Get you rid of that shores. Well played. And again, flick it on. Here is Marin. On to... Douglas Louise is going to break forward now. He's got some pace as well, this lad. Try and find Weyer. Oh, he hasn't passed it exactly where I wanted him to, but it is Weyer. He's just getting across goal. Surely now, Borco. There we go. It's 1-0. It is the counter-attack of dreams, and it is definitely in full effect. Get in. We've been piling on the pressure from the first whistle. It's a great assist. It's a great run by Weyer. And there is Barco arriving late at the back post. He keeps finding himself in so much space on that left-hand side, or number 11. That is his first goal of the season so far, and hopefully the first of many. Come on. Get your head on it. Anyone still in the box? It is Douglas Louise. Flicks it. Turns. Strikes it. And he's hit the side netting. I really thought that was in there. <laughs> Maya. Strikes it. That's a terrible effort. Oh, my God. Who is it? Wow. I didn't mean to press the finesse button, and it nearly just dipped into that far corner. Oh, here is a chance for Aston Villa to counter-attack, maybe. They put it down this right-hand side. Barco trying to catch up and drop back on the left. Come on, don't let him get it in. Don't let him get it in. Just keep pressing him. Pressing him well in, Barco. And I think the whistle's going to go. It has done. Half-time, 2-0. Or oh, 1-0, sorry. It should have been at least 2-0, should I say. But yeah, that's a miles better performance. I feel like we're back to normal now. Hopefully. But we need to punish them in the second half and get the goals we definitely deserve to get in this first. Oh, here is Maya tries to find Weyer. Surely now it is Weyer. He's tried to dink it in. And what a save that is. We really aren't finishing our dinner, are we? We're just not finishing our dinner. Skip, Parrot and Woodburn are all going to come on for the final 20 minutes. Maya, Weyer and Marin are all going to come off as well. Get that all-important game time under the belts. Try and keep them as happy as humanly possible. Help him out now. He is a really hopeful ball, really, for Parrot, but he can make something nothing. Troy Parrot, nicely done. Troy Parrot, and that's an absolute beauty by Troy Parrot. That is just typical of the man. He's not 100% fit, but I thought I'd bring him on, see if we can get that second goal, and my word, has he got it. He's dumbing his man there, dummied it, just turned, and look at the way he just did that out. The keeper did not even move. He knew he had no chance. What a gorgeous finish that is. Absolutely love it, son. And that is his second goal of the season so far. Another player I'm expecting to get a lot of goals this season. Well, I'll say that, but he always gets a lot of goals, doesn't he? Well in, Barco. Keep going, son. Keep going. He is exhausted, isn't he? He's absolutely exhausted. Try and get it in towards Parrot. It is hopeful, but it does fall back for Woodburn. He digs it across goal towards Parrot. There we go. It's three. Get in, son. And, of course, it's that man again with his third goal of the season. Now, the third goal of the game. Troy Parrot, the substitute, does it again. We were really fortunate because that ball there, it took a wicked deflection off the defender, falling perfectly into the path of Woodburn. And you're not going to miss it there. You're not going to miss there if you've got Troy Parrot on your side. 3-0. Game set and matched and they go to the full time whistle absolutely the least we deserve to be fair that was probably the easiest game i've played in quite some time aston villa belly threatened they sat back throughout they were making mistakes we just didn't probably punish them enough we could have easily scored six seven eight goals in that game but three nil in comparison to previous games in recent times i will take that every day of the week so this is how the league table looks at the end of the episode we are currently in seventh place which is an 
awful but definitely isn't the preferred start we wanted but we have seems to get ourselves back into a rhythm of things with a couple of wins uh, at the back end of this episode so we do have Arsenal at the top we have Chelsea Spurs and Manchester United make up the top four and Southampton in fifth as well now in the bottom three we have Burnley Stoke and Aston Villa no wonder Aston Villa at the bottom with zero wins zero draws and four losses because they were just terrible in that last game but that will be it guys if you have enjoyed this episode please hit the like button for me it'd be massively massively appreciated and subscribe to the channel if you're not already to become a fully fledged member of the sony army but for now you take care and stay jamming